Hello Aries, welcome to Told as Love Tarot. If you're new here, I hope you like and subscribe. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of Aries in your chart. So um, you wanna make sure you are checking out the other signs in your chart. If you'd like some help with what that means in my Minutes with Meg um, <clears throat> collection of videos, I have one about uh, finding out your birth chart and what your big three means. So if you want some help, you can find that in my Minutes with Meg uh, collection of videos as I get myself situated here. Um, yikes. Aries, I hope you had a good season. <coughs> I'm filming this over the um, Aries Taurus cusp. It's technically Taurus season right now, so I hope you had a good Aries season. I hope you're happy, healthy, and well. I appreciate your gifts and donations at my Cash App and Venmo in the description box. They go a long way. Told us love is a hustle for me, so your support is greatly appreciated. Aries, I have a pre-message. It seems pretty, pretty specific, but I'm just gonna go with it again. You could have um, an Aries moon and this resonate for you. It doesn't have to be Aries sun, so that's why Checking out your chart, seeing the other videos and readings and messages for your signs. Um, you can find a message that resonates for you even more so than this one, Aries. So the very specific message I was getting, I heard in my head, no competition. There's no competition. And I started to think, well, that's kind of ironic because Aries are like the most competitive sign. Like... <clears throat> If there's a competition between who can take like the biggest steps to get to from point A to point B, there's an Aries in that competition. They probably created the competition. <clears throat> Aries like to, to win. They like to <clears throat> stick up for what they believe in and stick to it and be stubborn about it. Um, but I got no competition. Giving up. Gave up. I heard stop competing, like someone being told to stop competing. And I started imagining like um, something like a, a bikini model or something. And it's someone is being told you need to stop competing. Someone is tired. Someone is too mature for this, like too old for this realizing that you're not going to win realizing that it's pointless to keep doing this someone like the insanity quote popped into my head there because like someone has been doing something or sticking to someone or <clears throat> something maybe come like they find themselves in a competitive cycle that is like pointless you're never gonna win you only end up hurting your own feelings Something, this is something uh, you would normally engage in and normally do of a competitive nature, but right now someone is like, I'm too old for this. Could be something about like, you're trying to make someone jealous or someone is try has tried to make you jealous or is trying to make you jealous. And again, y there was a time when you would have engaged in this behavior, this competitive toxic whatever competition but now someone is just like outgrown it and they're just not engaging in the behaviors or how they would have normally reacted to this <clears throat> there's something heavily here about like like aries let's say you're a real fox of a person male or female Normally, your person would be questioning everybody, ev questioning you about every friendship and connection that you've made, making like passive aggressive jokes about like you flirting or whatever because they're getting, trying to get under your skin, trying to make a point that they feel like they're in a competition with someone else. And now you're noticing or they're noticing like, the, a disinterest like I don't know if it's a I don't care or if a, it's more of a like allowing someone to just do what they want 
I don't own you, you don't own me, go do what you want. And the funny thing here is like, I, that's what wins. That's what makes a winner. Wow, that's so wild that this is coming out. That's when you know you've won, is when you don't engage in it and you don't care about it. Because that is someone's old trigger. Someone is triggered into competing. Someone is triggered, is baited into trying to prove themselves. Maybe Aries, you've started to realize this and you're realizing that's pointless. I'm never gonna win if, I, if I'm in that cycle, if I continually feel like I'm competing and that I'm trying, being made to feel jealous. Winning is walking away. Winning is not engaging in that. Winning is being intelligent enough to realize that I am being emotionally triggered right now and the best thing for me to do is to get away from this or to not do this. If it's like <clears throat> going back to that couple analogy, let's say like the husband goes through his wife's likes or it's just like, super aware of who she talks to when they're together or when they're out he just stops giving up he gives up on that he's he doesn't care anymore it's pointless because nothing's gonna change nothing's gonna happen this person will just get mad at me if i point it out so there's winning and walking away i'm gonna write that down there is winning in walking away because you're not engaging in this old trigger. <clears throat> trigger sent from the universe, sent from whatever. Because if you already know you've won, then there's no competition. Why would I stoop to a level to need to compete for something or someone when I've already won? I'm a winner. I don't compete. This card just popped in my hand. We're going to go here. That was a strong message, Aries. Please let me know if it resonates. <clears throat> Ran into one another. Who exactly is the toxic one here? Someone could have green eyes. This card came out earlier this week in a reading too. I can't tell you which one though, but it's always interesting when they repeat. I feel so lucky with you. Someone could be Irish or um, more emphasis on the green. Someone, um, I'm also getting, someone could like, mar like weed, smoking marijuana. Go for it. You're so similar, that's why this is happening. Loss of money. You're the best. <clears throat> Big ego, not worth it, being used. Please be patient with me, let go and let God. Aries. I get the feeling of someone this is giving me like something of maybe a sabotaging nature like someone like ruining something when it's good because they're like almost feeling too much like they I feel so lucky with you <clears throat> I also am getting something again back with what I was talking about, <clears throat> about someone like getting um, jealous and competitive, like however this resonates, it's like being questioned about who someone is, 
maybe you want to question someone or maybe someone wants to question you Aries and um, this person gets a very like this is a very passive-aggressive person who like will say something shitty instead of fighting for what they want or saying what they're actually feeling so like if someone were <clears throat> this is giving me like toxic like if you're in a relationship like encouraging someone to talk to an individual even though you know you don't want them to to talk like oh you think she's pretty you should go talk to her you know what I mean um I get a feeling also here of um, <sighs> the way two people view each other is like very different. This is giving me like someone who thinks they're not doing anything wrong or like what they're doing is okay. Um, <clears throat> when they, um, When these two people are together, I get a feeling of like someone thinking that they're better than someone else. Like they came, maybe they came from money or they have more money, but like one person is looking at the other with like stars in their eyes and the opposite person is looking at this individual as like not worthy of them. So mean, but it's like they're not, not worthy, but you're actually very similar. You're very similar and the funny, the weird thing is, is it has to do with ego for two different reasons. One person doesn't think they're good enough and sabotages things um, and that's fear based and their ego and someone has a huge ego, thinks they're the best and that um, everyone should be competing for them. And it's almost because they're used to people competing for them and this person is like, I'm not going to compete for you. It's like this weird yin and a yang similarity. I hope that makes sense. It's like people, two people who are good cop, bad cop, two people who are like the, um, just opposites, but they attract and it works because his or her huge ego pulls this one up who is insecure and feels like they're not good enough and this one humbles the e the big egoed one and brings them down a bit let me know if that resonates aries that could be your relationship that could be a friendship that could be family that could be work related <clears throat> like you work you are the boss or you're the assistant to the boss and you're both very opposite but you work well together and one one's humility checks the other one's ego and the big egoed person encourages and supports the humbled person to step more into their power 
Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. The sun reverse, Leo energy. Well, those are your other fire signs. Are you like going about things differently? Like, Now I got blue eyes here. The hanged man reversed Pisces energy. Judgment. Eight of swords, ten of pentacles. I feel like there's someone thinking about you, Aries, or you're thinking about someone. Um... <clears throat> in regards to like reaching out to this person um there's something definitely here about a like an imbalance between two people like one person's cup runneth over the other person has like two pennies to rub together I feel like there's someone thinking about <clears throat> what needs to happen to make things equal or good. Could be a Sagittarius. It's um Knight of Cups reverse. This bad Larry has been out in like three readings now. He was in my collective, I'm pretty positive, yesterday. <clears throat> Five of swords. Four of swords. The world. Eight of pentacles. Reversed. The star reversed. There's another green eye here. All right, there's something about like um, watching or keeping tabs on someone. I don't know if it's someone watching you, keeping tabs on you, or there's someone who's watching you, Aries, and keeping tabs on like everything that they can keep tabs on. I get like someone's thoughts being positive and going this way, and there's another energy that's thinking either about you Aries or who you're thinking about is thinking about someone else and I get this feeling of like kind of being aware of it I get the feeling of like watching someone um start to give to another connection I'm also getting someone's like mind and anx like anxiety getting the best of them. Like this could be the person who sabotages things like someone letting their thoughts run wild and like it's a perception thing like what you think you're seeing is your perception of it doesn't mean it's what's actually happening Aries does that make sense? <clears throat> 10 of oh shit I put that card back right and it had flipped 10 of swords now 5 of wands the moon it's cancer energy 8 of wands ace of pentacles
Aries, I feel like you're being, you're like, I don't want to say being forced, but you're like witnessing someone create a um, connection with another person. Cancer energy is here. I'm still getting the feeling of like someone like not competing. I'm not intervening. I'm not getting involved in this. I'm not going to let this rub me the wrong way. I'm not, I'm not going to let this affect me. The funny thing is I keep getting like, this is either some sort of like work connection that bothers you Aries, or like if this is someone who's watching you, it's like they're bothered by your flirtations and your connections and friendships, your communications. Even if it's not anything, um, love related it's like just business it's still like kind of it like bothers this person this is someone who normally would compete this doesn't even have to be a love interest this could be like you find your um best friend or your daughter becomes super like possessive and um or your son becomes super possessive and um competitive like Oh God, this is reminding me of literally what happened to me yesterday. And my response to it was kind of like, and you couldn't tell this family member, no, you had made plans. But who am I to judge? It was along the lines of, it gave, it was giving, I'm going to somehow ruin your plan or try to stop your plan because I don't want you to be doing this. <clears throat> and I, as I say that aloud, I've had Aries in my life who they've had people in their lives who were quagmires like this. Like, I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to be going there. I don't want you to be talking to that person. So I'm going to act childish. I'm going to do things that are to interrupt your ability to communicate with that person. No, I don't think I need any more of these, but now I'm already, this could be something friendship level. I feel like someone's also dealing with an individual who is a taker. Take, 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 take. They will let you pour the very last um, like amount of energy into you. Like they'll watch you do everything you can to please them and give them what they want and it still won't be enough. Maybe you've realized that's this person's nature. That's why you're not doing this anymore. Someone is going to be left with like their hands completely tied. There's nothing they can do. This is also the person who I feel like is doing everything in their power not to say anything, to keep their mouth shut, to not compete. give up on this deck and say it's time to just switch all right <clears throat> ace of wands at the bottom of the deck followed by the nine of pentacles king of cups reversed ace of pentacles
I feel like there's something about dealing with two different things like what she's receiving and what's being offered you see how those two hands one's holding the bird one's holding the ace of wands i feel like there's people who are seeing something differently This is also giving me the energy of someone who's like in their power, on their gr on their grind. You've been working, you've been um, taking care of business, and um, you find opportunity comes your way in the form of ron hook up hookups, rendezvous, in the form of like opportunities to think about for the future. Um, this is while someone is. Someone is like really focused on themselves or like those very closest to them. It's like someone no longer wants to give any energy to anybody else or anything else. Maybe someone's working on their finances. Maybe this is part of it. Three of Cups reverse, like putting social life on the back burner. Ace of Cups reversed. Wheel of Fortune reverse kind of was weird. I'm getting an imbalance of how two people view a situation or see each other. Like one person is just seeing friendship. The other person is seeing love or feeling love. The sun reversed. Six of Cups, but someone is just seeing friendship while someone else could see like Happily ever after, the future of my uh, my future stepmom, stepdad, future father of my child, mother of my child. Four of Wands reverse. King of Swords, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. Two of Swords reversed, Nine of Cups, Temperance is now upright, Sag Energy, Four of Swords. Someone's like emotional stability and like not, like choosing to put themselves first, choosing to balance themselves, choosing to not compete, choosing to not be like a head case is um yeah like choosing peace and happiness it like bothers this other individual who wants who is toxic who likes the toxic uh the emperor reverse was just there as i was saying toxic and i was thinking toxic masculine doesn't have to be a male though It's gonna sound really fucked up but I just got like someone's idea of like what they want and what they like is um like mental head games the going back and forth and I it just flashed in my mind as I was thinking about it but as I picked up the cards um, my index deck and was shuffling I saw my card attracted to intelligence um at least two to three times as I was getting ready for this reading. So I was like, well, there's either really smart Aries or Aries is dealing with someone who is like really, 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 really intelligent. And sometimes when people are almost like so, and they're, they're that intelligent that they can't help their wheels spinning. Someone's wheels spin. And like, it's like a maze. Their, their thoughts are constantly going and they are choosing. This is the person who is choosing to, um, to be tired of it. It's like they're choosing. 
I'm too mature to be baited into this, to compete, to say something. It's almost like recognizing that that's what this person wants. So who is, who exactly is the toxic one? Is it the person trying to make the other individual jealous? Or is it the person who actually ends up getting jealous because they're triggered into competing? Deep thoughts. We got some deep thoughts. The hanged one, seeing things differently. Seeing things differently. Someone's been stuck seeing things in this manner for so long and I'm being drawn to the four, which reminds me of emperor and um, it's upside down. An upside down emperor, that's a toxic masculine to me. Maybe someone has become aware of like their toxic habits. And that's why that card is green because it's almost like getting self, being self-reflective, understanding that I am, I'm being toxic right now because I'm emotionally triggered and I'm more intelligent now because I see things differently to understand that I don't, like this is an upside down world of someone who likes, um, It's like someone who likes to distort reality because they want to make you jealous. This is someone who's like, this is, this is fucking weird. It's like someone who's going out of their way, like at a, a staff meeting to go stand or sit next to a person because they know that it's absolutely going to trigger and emotionally affect this other individual. And it does. But that other individual has become aware that you're doing that on purpose. You're doing that trying to ruffle my feathers. You're doing, like, you want me to say something to you. This is something with, like, someone really needing to be reflective of their behaviors, their patterns, and their habits. Like, you keep having the same issues with, like, oh, you know, my ex-wife used to get mad about that, about girls on social media, and now you're bringing it up again. Well, what's the common denominator? Obviously, you're making someone feel a type of way. Ten of Swords, as I see these things, and, like, I feel, there's a feeling here of, like, not being able to say anything. This is giving me like emotional abuse. I'm not gonna lie. This is definitely giving me some sort of like emotional, mental, like they know, someone knows an individual's hands are tied and they can't say anything or they won't say anything. This is giving me like a power play of some sort. Like this is the boss making you do shit that you know you can't say anything, but you are seeing the situation differently and you are aware that this person is getting their fucking thrills out of ruining what you have, or trying to ruin what you have going for you. But you're in a situation where you can't say anything. Ten of Cups. This came out as I was saying, like, you have someone who's, like, wants to keep you in a position where you can't say anything. And this Ten of Cups fell over onto the Three of Cups reverse and the Ace of Cups reverse and the Temperance reverse. This person thrives in, like, emotional misery and chaos. This person thrives and loves. Oh, my God. This is the person who likes people competing for them. This is the person who likes to compete. This could be like your own parent. It could be your significant other. It could be your sibling. It could be your boss. It's like this person loves... Wow, 
This is so weird. It's like they love to see other people not happy or hurt. And that's really, really hard for me to say because it's in my head, I'm like, I cannot fathom doing something purposefully. These are intentional things too. Doing something intentionally, whether it's direct or indirect, but done with the intention of sticking it to an individual, of pissing someone off because they're in a position where they can't say anything. I don't know if this is like someone having the power or feeling like you're being tested or... It's like someone wants you to compete. And I'm going back to... Someone wants, I could be dealing with a Gemini. Someone is like testing you, Aries. You could have Gemini in your chart. I don't know if it's like you're being tested or like they're purposely poking the bear to see how you'll respond. But I'm getting old triggers, old emotional triggers. This is someone who like, I was going to say wants to see you and or others compete for their love. They feel very highly of their position and their love and their blessing. So they want to see competition for it. I feel like someone sees this, recognizes this, and does not engage, does not want to engage in this. This is something like, Someone who's doing their damnedest to like make a relationship work and they're still single. Someone doing their damnedest to get that position that was promised to them and they still haven't gotten the position. Virgo energy, uh, nine of pentacles reversed. The queen of cups is here, six of cups. I feel like there's a, a female energy here who has retreated. Um... It's like knowing your role in a person's life and acting accordingly. Like, why am I going to fight for something where I know where I stand? Why would I put in extra work to get that if I already know that they're not going to give it to me or they're going to give it to this person? Why would I put in all the extra work if I know that this person who has the power to say like you have to jump through hoops and tell you how many why am i going to put in the work to do it perfectly when i know this person is just going to find something wrong someone is starting to play the game differently biting their tongue a lot again not competing i'm not engaging in this something i normally would say something about I think you got a motherfucker sitting back, like poking your bear, knowing that you really can't or shouldn't say anything back and they want to see what you're going to say or do. This is where it's back to like, it's like emotional. Seven of Cups. If this is love related, it's like someone wanting you to think that they have multiple options and they have all these great things going for them and I don't think that's the case. They're just trying to see if you'll react. Knight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. This is so weird to me, Aries. Someone is playing the mother effing game well. This is giving me. So let's say you want to be in a relationship with Harry. That's his name. But you know that Harry has his future, or let's change it to a female, Hannah. You know that Hannah has her future on the mind. She is making her money. She's not interested in, um, I wanted to say frivolous love. She's looking for a solid offer and she's looking for financial stability okay about Hannah 
So someone, there's an individual who really wants Hannah, who could see Hannah as being happily ever after for him or her. But this person knows that Hannah has money and their future on the brain. They've been honest about it. They've said that this is what they're focusing on. And then this person who knows I can't, Try to um, trap Hannah down. I have to let Hannah free to do whatever they want. Page of Pentacles. Because Hannah has said that she doesn't want anything serious. But I don't think that's the truth. I think someone here is scared of um, like love and commitment. They may have been hurt in the past. Capricorn is here. Gemini Aries is here with the magician and the devil reversed. There is a connection <coughs> already between two people that someone wants to like act like it it doesn't exist. This is um who wants to be with Hannah and or or who want yeah, who wants to be with Hannah. There is a very strong connection here. I'm getting, I'm moving my nose ring. I'm getting like, you could have already been hooking up with this person or um, already doing certain actions with this person or for this person, but they do not want to say like your assistant manager now because that would open up a whole nother can of worms. They would rather you just continue to do these administrative duties for them and you are getting the responsibilities, the skill set, the um, the work, even though you know you deserve more money and you deserve the title, but you're not going to say anything. And it's kind of like the company or your boss knows your hands are tied because you want the opportunity. So you're just going to take what they give to you because you want it. You're going to keep your mouth shut. If this is love related, this is like someone who understands that our Hannah over here is focused on the future, focused on money, focused on the house, focused on um, coin, and does not want to feel tied down or does not want to feel like there's people competing for them or that they're in some sort of competition for love. So the person who actually wants Hannah is going to let Hannah do whatever she wants they're not going to say anything to Hannah, even if they really care about her. And even though it like hurts their heart to think that Hannah could have other options and be talking to other people. But this person is playing the game. They know that if they let Hannah go and do whatever they want, Hannah is going to recognize that this person who I already have the connection with, who I'm already hooking up with, is not being... An asshole is letting me do whatever the heck I want. I said I didn't want a relationship and they're allowing me the freedom to just go do what I want. I feel like it ends up doing or acting as some sort of reverse psychology, Aries. All of that. Someone is trying to create the illusion that they are... Um... It's like creating an illusion that they have... Um a lot going on that they have emperor reversed i feel like aries if this is you you are a masculine who needs to work on your toxicity your habits i feel like there is someone here who's fighting a connection that's already begun it's already here someone this is going back to Hannah needed to go out and feel like she could travel the world and not be tied down. And homeboy here has been standing waiting for Hannah to return, okay? Hannah's out there acting like this hasn't already be begun, but really it has. There's definitely a feeling here too of someone liking to have multiple options or at least seem like they have multiple options, okay? This is giving me a false reality. This is giving me like 
oh, Hannah has all these boy toys waiting for her, but like that's part of the toxic element here because it's not the truth. Tying in with the Seven of Swords reverse too. There aren't any other options. Someone's here, this ties into, wasn't Big Ego one of them? Someone wants to feel like they have people competing for them. This feeds their ego. You know, to tell someone like, I don't want a relationship could also imply that like, it's because you're seeing other people. But that may not necessarily be the truth, Aries. The Hermit reversed here, Seven of Cups. I feel like someone is trying to like make it seem like they have all these options and like stuff going on when they're not just like hanging out at home. <laughs> King of Cups reversed. The Hanged Man reversed again. Knight of Wands reversed. The Lovers. Four of Wands, I and then the Queen of Cups. I feel like there's someone who, this is the person who, this is Hannah. Justice is here too. This is Hannah. Our character Hannah, Hannah, who's gone off into the world and was not tied down, was not forced into a competition or wasn't asked about other people. This person, sees things differently. They begin to see things differently. They begin to realize that um, nobody has to do anything to prove something to them. This is giving me the person who was sitting back, poking the bear, trying to create a competition, and then they have this change of heart. They start seeing things differently, and they realize, like, no, I want to give to this. They start pouring into a, a place or person that they said that they didn't want to, that, that it wasn't anything. They, they realize that this isn't just knocking boots. There's a real connection here. There's a legit, honest connection here. And this is part of why someone doesn't say anything because they're not concerned because they have a true, honest connection here. I'm already the winner. I don't need to compete. I've already won. Someone starts to realize this is there's way more to this than what has met the eye. There's way more to this than what meets everyone else's eyes. Um, just check somewhat like someone needs to check their habits, like their responses, what you will and will not engage in, what is and isn't pointless. And just always remember Aries, you are already the winner. This is part of creating your own, um, reality. If you already realize that you've won, it doesn't matter if Hannah has all sorts of boy toys all over her. You already know that she doesn't want them and you've won. You, she's with you. So it shouldn't matter. Someone starts to, this is all part of seeing things differently. All part of seeing some things differently. Someone really could be with a partner or in a connection where like they're realizing that this is a butterfly who needs to be free. Um, this is uh, someone who needs to just be allowed to swim away and come back because you know they're going to come back. Aries, please let me know if it resonates. If it doesn't, it's all right. Just check out the other signs in your chart. Your support at my cash app and Venmo are greatly appreciated. I, I was going to say I support you so much. I appreciate you so much. I hope you stay happy, healthy, and well. Have a great tour season, end of April, and I will catch you on the flip.